Hi everyone, my name is Sharaf Alahiri and as I promised, I'm back to show you how to configure VMware vSAN. So grab your coffee and join me to get your hands dirty and configure vSAN. But before starting, if you like the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to get notified when we add a new video. In the previous video, I showed you how to install vCenter server and do the initial vSAN configuration. And in this video, we are going to discuss how to configure vSAN with the quick start wizard and check upon the vSAN network requirements. And as always, I will walk you through a quick demo to show you how to configure vSAN. In terms of configuration, first we need to enable vSAN feature on a cluster and then add the E6i host to the vSAN cluster and claim the hard disks. These steps will be done through the quick start wizard. And finally, we need to configure VM kernel adapters for vSAN network communications. In the last video, we went through a complete vSAN requirements list, but specifically regarding network, we need to have at least one gigabit physical adapters for hybrid configuration and 10 gigabit for all flash configuration. Because vSAN works based on IP networking, each E6i host needs a VM kernel adapter for this communication. In this demo, to keep it simple, we will use the default ESXi standard switch to create the VM kernel ports, but it's recommended to use distribute switch in the production environment. Especially by buying vSAN license in any edition, you're entitled to use VDS. I will put the license package overview in the description of this video in case you want to know more about different editions and features. So let's jump into the demo to show you how to configure vSAN step by step. First, I log into vCenter and choose the cluster I want to configure vSAN. Then from the top menu, I choose configuration and quick start. Under cluster basics, I choose edit to enable vSAN feature. After enabling vSAN, if you have a new installation of vCenter, you may get an error regarding vSAN HCL database up to date health check and you need to update it. If you have internet access, you can simply click on get latest version online or download it from a jump host that has internet access and upload the file. In this demo, vCenter doesn't have internet access, so I have already downloaded the file and I have put the download link in the description of this video. After uploading the file, it takes a couple of minutes until vSAN HCL database get updated and then I hit the revalidate and you can see the error has been solved. Then I start the second step to add the ESXi 2 and 3. I have set the same password for both ESXi hosts and to save some time, I choose use the same credential for all hosts and click next. Here you can see a summary about the version of ESXi host you are adding to the cluster. Click next and then you will get a warning message regarding the host will go to maintenance mode. I click on finish button and then move on to the last step to configure the cluster. I choose configure network settings later for sake of simplicity. I will create a VM kernel adapter on a standard switch later. But in production environment, I highly recommend to use distribute switch for this matter. Then I will configure the NTP and keep the rest of configuration as it is and click next. Here you need to claim hard disks. I will choose the 100 gigabyte disk as cache and 300 GB hard disk for capacity. And keep in mind that you are not allowed to mix the hybrid and all flash configuration in the same cluster. After completion of this stage, I need to configure the vSAN VM kernel adapter. So I click on each host and from the configuration tab, networking, VM kernel adapters, I choose add networking. I want to create a new VM kernel, so I only click next and select an existing standard switch. Here, I choose vSAN as network label and specify the vSAN VLAN number and choose vSAN service and click next. Then I configure the vSAN IP address and default gateway and click next and finish. I will repeat the same procedure for ESXi 2 and 3 to add the vSAN VM kernel adapters. After completion of these steps, I check the vSAN health status, so I click on the cluster and from the monitor tab, check the vSAN health. As you can see, there is an error on vSAN object health, but it's because there weren't enough resources when I installed vCenter and configured the first ESXi host to be part of vSAN cluster. Object repair timer by default is 60 minutes, but I will click on repair objects immediately to start it manually. 
On the resyncing objects, you can see the vCenter object are started to resync, which takes around 3 hours to get completed, and I'm not going to keep you waiting. To have a stable, balanced environment, you need to configure vMotion and enable vSephere, HA and DRS on a cluster too. By this, we reached to the end of vSAN configuration demo and hopefully I could show you how easily you can configure vSAN. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again!